Welcome to the Shadows, guys. My name is Phantom, and today we are jumping back into LA UNR, and we are hopefully going to be finishing the Naked City case today. Last time we didn't talk to a lot of different people, um, with involving I mean, a lot of different suspects. Uh, we finished up last time talking to Arnett, who was clearly hiding something, so we ended up telling him a lot last episode, as well as her friend Heather Swanson, who gave us some information. The one thing that concerns me still is we don't know who this Mr. Henderson guy is at all so we're gonna go ahead and dial in on this phone over here see what information we're getting from the phone and then we're gonna head back to hollywood police station and see what they've got for us um people love to be honking apparently where's this phone at what are we we're checking messages again or do we have oh no it's probably the r and i thing from last episode about the um operator give me r and i i gotta remember i'll remember once we hear this line phelps one two four seven Oh, it was the LeBlanc guy. That's what it was. Any oh, no, we've got messages. Is it about the LeBlanc? Oh, no. It wasn't LeBlanc. It was her and Henry Arnett's fashion business. Oh, no, it was that, too. Okay, I was right. Fred Wallace? Okay. Fred Wallace. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and I guess so we need to go there and we need to go to the police station We're definitely getting to the end of this case um, Of course we didn't do too hot on this one, so I don't know if we'll be able to get I don't know if we'll get a good score if we'll get a yell out for it um, But let's head to the police station first Here we go. Hollywood police station 625 p.m. What do Bukowski and Galloway have for us? I need the contraband list. Item stolen over the last what is that? What the heck? Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for That's you. really random. Here you go. Thanks. We look, what are we looking for? Is the cigarette case on there? A cigarette. Oh, right here. Beverly Everstorm. Here. Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. Oh, so he's now, you can, oh, the black sapphire ring so too. Randall's ring. It's here. So we need to find the one for... The pearl ring. The engagement ring was purloined. Our net is a cad. Is that everything we need? Or is there something else? Silver pillbox. Seems Julia wasn't the first board society girl to hide her bennies in that pillbox. Goodness gracious. That is a lot of stuff on the contraband list. Okay. Now we looked at that. So don't we need to go talk to... No, that was it. I thought we needed to go talk. I guess that's what they found was the contraband list. I don't know. All right, well, I guess let's head and talk to the officer who arrested what's his name. And then after that, we'll go talk to the Everstorm residents and see what that's about. So, Hollywood Division 9, beat, foot beat. All right, where's, oh, oh, they're chasing somebody. Come on, let's give him a hand. Right behind you, Wallace, Detective Phelps. Go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley. He didn't tell me where to go, so we're just gonna... Are we supposed to shoot them? We've got shots fired. Are we supposed to be shooting them? Oh, yeah, we are. There's a ton of more people here. This is an ambush. Let's see. Let's see if I can get his foot. Oh, he moved. Oh, wait, no. Throw out the guns. There we go. Nice. Move in. Are you trying to get yourself killed? They seem to be. I'll just run around this way then and get you. Got him. We did it. Wonder what that was about. Thanks. Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Bad luck for them. They're all yours now. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. Yeah. Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. 
I miss his partner, though. His partner? Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. What in the world? They're like something out of Barnum and Bailey. Got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. And you think he was an acrobat of some sort? Hmm. More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Thanks. You've been a big help. You haven't done too badly yourself. So, is that is that describing our net? There's so many question marks to this case right now. We've got a Willie, we've got a Mr. Henderson, we've got, I mean, we don't even know half the people. Alright, well, let's head to the other Sharma, Eve Stromers and see if they can give us anything, but I'm so confused at what's happening here. Eve Strom residence, 7 p.m. This is a nice house. There's a car here, so clearly somebody's home, too. Oh, the housekeeper is coming to answer the door. PD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? But she is. Would you follow me, sir? Thank you. I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Why would I mind, young man? If you are returning 43 pieces of my property. Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, can you get the detective? We're not bringing you 43 items, though. We're only, we only have no about like three or four. All right, list of stolen items. Describe to us what was stolen. It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> A priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. Yeah, I don't know where that is. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. What would you accuse her of? Because the, the contraband list. It's valued at $25,000. Let's accuse for a second. Are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Evestrom? Who do you think you are? Making heinous... The case is only worth $10,000. Let's go to the cigarette case for a second. It's only worth $10,000. the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There. Are you satisfied? Well, you were lying and we called you out on it. My daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. Okay, burglary incident report. Tell us about the burglary. That terrible night, at least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. No, we want to know about the. I'm so confused. Not everything's from you. So like, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't know. I think you know more about this burglary than you were letting on, Mrs. Eustrom. There isn't an insurance claim involved, is there? Are you accusing me of having my own home burgled? How dare you? What possible proof do you have for this scandalous remark? <laughs> I like her I like her reaction to that. I'm not gonna accuse her though because there's nothing to really I'm I am utterly confused. Looks like I was mistaken. I don't want to discuss the list of items that we've recovered though. Um mm, do I wanna we're gonna use intuition. Remove an answer. But <laughs> I already knew that. That doesn't help me at all. Um, let's just bad cop it. I get the sense that you're worried about something, Mrs. Eastrom. I have already received the insurance claim, detective. Is there any way we could keep the return of these items discreet? That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps? That's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother! Hello, detectives. 
What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter? This morning at work. Oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some There's something way more. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. Oh. Oh. We're getting into the deep end here. Holy cow, that's a big apartment building. Arnett's apartment, 7.30 p.m. And don't you try to make a big for it, Swanson. Heavens! Come on, sister. Let's find out who your fiancé really is. Oh, why did I just get an achievement? Escort to Arnett's without damaging your... Oh, I did it without damaging my car. Nice. Sir? Uh, I'm sorry. Are you a resident? LAPD. I'm LAPD. We're here to speak to Henry Arnett. Oh, uh, Mr. Arnett? Um, uh, apartment 30. You can take the lift. All right, thank you. Let's go. Let's see what's really going on with Mr. Arnett. Everyone pile in the elevator. Well, <laughs> Especially for her. Oh, he's arguing with someone. Who in the world is this guy? This don't shoot he's our case. Well, who is he? And how do I get off the roof? Oh, he's up here on the piping. Give it up, LAPD. Oh, what are you doing? Don't make me chase you. I freaking didn't fall off. Is he gonna freaking get into a fist fight the second we get around this corner? Because I've seen it a billion times before. Yep, he is. He got away, didn't he? Looks like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. Yeah, you ain't kidding. How do I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. He came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. Oh, my lord. How was our net? He's coming around, too. He's all hopped up. Well, that's just There's the way it goes. Answers. You missing something, Henry? What is in the suitcase? What do you got for us? Yeah, there's your ticket. We knew about that. You're going to Mexico City. You told Heather you're honeymooning without her? What about this watch? Is this watch? Does this watch off of the contraband list too? Vacheron Constantine. That's an extremely expensive watch, Henry. Is that from the contraband list? A graduation present from my parents. Mm hmm. And how do we know you're being honest about that too? We don't. What else? Oh, that's it? That's all you have to hide? Alright, well, let's talk it out, buddy. Back again. We know all about the jewelry ring. You and Randall and the Blanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. No, no, you're not in the fashion business. But how do I prove that? How do I accuse you and say that you're not in the fashion business? Can I accuse you and do the cigarette case? You're lying, Henry. How can you prove that I'm involved, detective? Because you had the cigarette case. Because you pawned a Fabergé cigarette case today. There it is. $100, a case that is on a list of stolen items. It was Julia's idea. Get a list of society parties and find out where and when and then have the guests burgle. 
Julia was desperate for money. Mm, now you spill the beans. She always wanted more. That's our confession right there. That's all you need. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? I, I wanted to stop to, to get out of that life. I was going to marry Heather if she'd have me. Julia told the others that, that they were out, that she was going to create a, a new gang. I mean, I feel like you're being honest about that. But based off of your facial expressions, there's more to it than that. So, how do I play this off? Let me see what happens when you say accuse. I think you ordered them to kill her. It was made to look like suicide, and when the coroner saw through that, you knew it was time to run. I told you I was involved in the burglaries. I had nothing to do with Julia's death. Why would I need to run? Yeah, I don't think I can prove that part. I don't think I can prove that he was involved with that. Yeah, no, I can't prove that he was involved with that. Okay, we'll just do bad cop then. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Yeah, we're gonna go with bad cop. You wanted Julia Randall out of your life. Why would he want that? Julia was our friend. Julia was his hump, sweetheart. They were the Bonnie and Clyde of society burglars. He met you and realized he didn't have to steal anymore. He could just mooch from you. He needed Julie out of the way. Julia was insatiable. She didn't care about anyone. Not the least. Yeah, that was the correct one. All right. She was never going to go back to the poverty she came from. I wanted it to stop. That was wrong. Oh, all right. And what is yeah, we still don't know who Henderson is. Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. There is no Henderson. You're lying. We don't know that we what well, there's we can which makes sense. But there's more to it than that. Give it up, Arnett. You're facing the gas chamber. Give the judge some reason to commute. You still don't get it, do you? Julia entrapped everyone. Where, that doesn't have to do so, with the Henderson guy. So goddamn cold. No, we Where didn't. You, met, you were under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict stripes. You finally gave it up when we went to arrest you. That Stoneman's now who we need to speak to. Gosh, this case just gets more and more complicated. Is it because I'm not answering these questions correctly that it's like I'm all over the place, or...? Goodness gracious. Okay. Well, guys, that is going to do it from today. Next time, we are going to continue with this case and definitely finish the case. Uh, we're going to head back to Dr. Stoneman's practice and now interrogate Dr. Stoneman because as he was getting arrested, he finally told me what we needed to be told. So, apparently, Stoneman's Henderson, he's got more to do with this than what he told us the first go-around. Um... This is a rough case. We're not doing too hot on the questioning and stuff, which I apologize for. Um, but thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more content. Until the next time, guys, have a great day, and I will see you all next time.